Right. We'll be the first build together. That's right. This is day. Ten. This is day two. We've already done our planning session and done a little prep work. Now we're assembling parts. This here is the uh, RF controlled RGB LED strip controller. It has a cute little, uh, cute little module that controls it. Goes oh, hey man, the I forgot to cut the power off. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> Don't cut the power off. Got yeah. those wires sitting in that water down there. I know. See, this is the deal. So we're just doing stuff to get ready. Get some multi-conductor wire, all kinds of goodies. So more on this later. things I had to do was finish up uh, my buddy Spitz's bench here. I had to scribe in these pieces because they're skinny in the middle and fat on the end, so that was fun. Made a lot of dust on that deck. And then the next step will be I'm going to be taking off these rails and I'm going to be putting a dado underneath for the aluminum extrusion that the uh, LED strips will go in. I'll show you that in a little bit. And we're checking out the uh, the dado for the uh, aluminum extrusion. This is some really nice, let me show you on edge guys, I don't think you've seen this yet. It's got a really nice uh, profile. It's tiny. And then you just make a slot like this and you can do flush mount. And as you can see, yeah, it's very strong. And you just snap the lens in there. And uh, we're going to attach it with some screws. we got to drill and countersink that. That'll be a little operation that we'll get into pretty soon. But, uh, yep, Spitz is on the job there. Safety first. Yep, there we've got two uh, RGB ribbon cables fished up, and I'm about to push the polished up uh, EMT tube down into the little socket in the deck. And even the part of the deck that you'll never see is going to look nice. I'll tell you what. Now we got our little... That was the homeowner bit. Now we got our Wait, deal. Well, what about the... Uh... Yeah, it only took half a day. Yellow cord. Yeah, let's just make some little tiny pieces cord. of wood. So these are ready for our uh, strip installation. So now we're going to run a, a big ass piece of wood through the saw. We've already taken one of our smaller pieces, got it run through, got the channel after I did the test. So we're ready to run. Well, uh, I've got another data cut made here. As you can see, this is kind of large wood moving through such a small saw <laughs> and it makes a lot of dust but uh, we're doing a wonderful thing here the idea is, is that there's going to be LED lighting under all the handrails down the handrails of the stairs so we're going to be putting those same EMT tubes like I did over by the bench be in front of those screws come up through here do all kinds of ridiculous fishing about be a lovely thing. Let me show you underneath what we've been doing here. This is one hell of a deck, isn't it? Mm. Camera's working real good, isn't it? It's totally freaking out. It's freaking out, man. Let me show you my crawl space. <laughs> so this is the uh, the deal. See the uh, the EMT up above where the benches were. It's ribbon wire. A waterproof box. There's the uh, five conductor wire. Use an 18 gauge so we don't get such a big voltage drop. This is the goodies over here. As you can see, we've got a waterproof GFI box. We've got a waterproof power supply. The uh, <coughs> the thing had to be mounted upside down. So here, let me turn this for you so you can read it. <laughs> Here's the uh, waterproof box. This thing has three outputs. We only need one. But these could be used later for uh, yard lighting, spotlights on the plants, all kinds of good stuff. Here's our leads that continue to run on down. Deeper in the crawl space. And we got a box here. Ready to go on up to the where I was just showing you. This is the stairs, see. I could live under those stairs. That's a big space. And then we got another box way the fuck down out of there. I'm not going over there. Fuck that. 
So anyway, that's it, man. I'm going to be uh, doing the connections later. Right now we're doing some curve. Well, guys, it's been a beautiful day here in North Carolina. As you can hear the birds are singing. And I've got a fair amount of work done. Got this 16-foot rail. If you look underneath it, you'll see there's a dado on it. It's been glued and screwed, reinstalled. I've got my RGB wires fished out, ready to go to the channels. Just finished installing this big, long 16-footer here. Doing all this by myself. My friend had to cut out my client's friend. He had to go do something with his family. See, I did the same thing here, except this one's way trickier. I've got a little tiny uh, notch. Uh, can you see it? A little tiny notch in the pipe. And then up here, I've got a routed channel. And that lets me power up. As you can see, there's a deal under there. And once again, there's a deal under there. So my wires come right out to my channels. Couldn't be any easier than that, could it? So all I've got left is uh, this baby and these two. I'm done. So i got to do the same bizarre routine where I drill a hole through this angled board and all that good stuff. Good fun. Uh, so I should be able to wrap it up tomorrow. It was going to be a two-day job, but he had me do a lot of extra stuff, which took a lot of extra time. So anyway, here it is. A nice looking deck, and pretty soon it'll be glowing. Well, tomorrow night. Glowing. Definito. Hey, cat. You know what time it is, cat? <laughs> what time do you think it is? <laughs> it's time to test the LEDs, right, Spitz? Man. That was a long three-day whamber jamber, but we got something done. We've got our extrusions in. We've got all our LED strips soldered up, and before we stick them into the extrusions, I want to do an electrical test. So we're going to go down below under the deck. We're going to wire everything up all nice and neat. But as you can see, we have been busy running around with the old uh, soldering iron, solder, whatnot, doing our little numbers. We've got them just laying out right now. We're going to test them in just a minute. So here it is. This is the uh, tri-chip with the latest generation SMD LEDs on it. It's got three little tiny light emitters on it. The black is the ground and you just power up each one of those legs a certain amount and you'll get any color you want. You could use uh, rotary potentiometers if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ways to control it. You could actually put th uh, the three leads on uh, the knobs of a fan controller for your computer and have three different lights. Uh, you can tune it to any color you want. It's very nice stuff, I think. Very nice. I don't know if you can see how nice that and clear that epoxy is like water. It's very high quality. I like it. Nice 3M tape on the back. Excellent stuff. Come on, Spitz. So my mission at this point is to strip and twist and solder and connect all the wires to the block. It's going to be so much fun. So the true touch of professionalism, we've been tending every lead and making sure everything's just right. And there's Spitz over there. He is tightening up the last connector block at one of our little weatherproof enclosures. And very soon we will be testing the lights. It's an exciting moment in history. Okay, we've got the, uh, the lights going to come on for the very first time. There's the remote. Spitz has the remote. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Have we got light everywhere, dude. It's awesome. Yep. Yep. This whole thing works. The whole strip works. So we just had the strips laying out. Now we can stick them. Now we can stick them. Juicy. Tasty. Perfect. 
Everything worked. Should I test all the color? Sure, let's do a little color, do some color cycling. Whoa! <laughs> it's blowing my camera out. My camera can't handle it. Primaries. <laughs> yeah, and they all work and they're the right colors. So we're we're awesome. We are so good at this. Maybe we should do it for a living. Think we should do this for a living? I just cranked it up. How do I go to white? Look look at this remote just works. I don't have to point it, nothing. There it is. Yeah, the white is working perfect. And uh lighting is very even. Very nice. Okay, here's Spit sticking down the very last little bit of the first strip. We're putting that into the aluminum extrusion that's been fitted into the dado of the handrail. So now it's got some nice 3M tape on it, and our lens is going to go over all of that. But first, we want to get them all stuck down, so now let's work over over here. So what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Alright. I like it. I think it's really neat because you can't tell where the heck the light's coming from, and it's very even. I think you made the right choice by going with a 300 per uh, reel, 300 per 5 meter. I think that worked out much better. Oh, yeah. The 150 might have been a little spotty. This is, even without a lens of any sort on it, it's just up in the extrusion, it's perfect. I think if we dim it like that, it'll be perfect for us to work on. Let's get the plastic. Cool. Yep, that's in there. Makes a little snappy sound when it's really in there. And it's really killer, man. A little plastic lens right on the wood. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's look down the length of this deck. Can it? Oh, yeah. This is for me laying on the deck, which I really need to do. I set this one off over here. On the bench, that's a little, it's the crack one. Okay, we can cut it up. Hey, cat. You like the lights? <laughs> 